Hey guys, I'm the Jedi Master, and may the fourth be with you. Now today, I want to do something a little bit special for May the 4th. So I decided to compile a list of the top five best Star Wars fan theories. Let's get this started. So one of the strangest theories I've ever heard is that Qui-Gon is a secret Sith. Uh, he's working with the Sith and secretly... And a lot of this comes from the fact that Qui-Gon was very um, skeptical of a lot of the teachings of the Jedi Council. And they, even though he was held in high regard, they kind of kept a watchful eye on him. And as a young Padawan, he studied under the Jedi Master Count Dooku. Count Dooku was his uh, master, uh, who, as we know, became a Dark Lord of the Sith. And studying under a Sith Lord like that, it could have corrupted him. Maybe I, I, I'm not too fond of this theory because he does get killed by a Sith, and it's pretty clear that, to me at least, that Qui Gon was very much of a light side. He was just a little bit more skeptical of the Jedi teachings, like he interpreted them differently. Kind of like a gray Jedi, in my personal opinion. I wouldn't say that he was a Sith mastermind. I would say Qui Gon was closer to a gray Jedi. He didn't really, while he was part of the Order, he didn't really follow their teachings 100%, but he also wasn't evil. Another strange one that I'm not too fond of is that Rey is the chosen one. This comes from the fact that Rey knows how to use the Force without a lot of training. I mean, it, it, towards the end of Episode 7, we see Rey use the Force despite not receiving formal training at the end of The Force Awakens to defeat Kylo Ren. It's a very impressive scene. J.J. Abrams did an amazing job with that scene. I mean, I got chills during that scene. I can show you the ways of the Force! But it's commonly known that Anakin is actually the chosen one. He brought balance to the Force even though he fell to the dark side. A lot of people don't understand this and maybe I'll go more into it in another video if you guys want. But as of right now, I don't think that that theory is very plausible. Okay, so before we get into the more plausible fan, fan theories, I'm gonna throw in a theory here that's so outside of the box that it's friggin' ridiculous. This is one of the funniest theories I think I've ever seen. It's that E.T. from the extraterrestrial Steven Spielberg's work is a Sith Lord. 
I, I'm not gonna go into explaining it. I just want to put it out there. It's that I mean that's so that's so weird. It's a it's a fun theory. It's it's funny and it's kind of stupid, but I had to throw it in there. All right, on to the more plausible theory. Okay, for the third theory, uh, this one's not as exciting because I think it's kind of obvious, and it's that Finn is force sensitive. Finn is the Imperial stormtrooper that changes his ways during the force awakens and i think what makes this theory very plausible is that finn can he while not trained with a lightsaber very well he can actually turn one on and as many star wars fans know with hardcore star wars fans somebody who is not force sensitive at all cannot actually operate a lightsaber it is like a it's like them trying to hold a malfunction blaster or holding a blaster backwards or something along those lines they can't turn it on they can't use it the fact that Finn was actually able to uh, fight Kylo Ren with it and use it effectively during the fight against the stormtroopers is actually kind of inquisitive that he might be a little bit force sensitive though it's a question of whether he'll actually want to be trained or if it'll actually ever manifest itself or if it'll be more like Han that lightsaber it belongs to me come get it <laughs> So the next theory is that Luke is at a gravesite at the end of The Force Awakens. I actually only have this theory very high because you do see a tombstone during that sequence and I really want to believe this theory because it seems very plausible. To be perfectly honest, I don't know if the exact way the theory goes is 100% what it is but it is possible that the gravesite is either of his father Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker or of Mara Jade who if you don't know who Mara Jade is uh, Mara Jade is Luke's wife in the extended universe if it is Mara Jade, I am going to be super excited about that, but I highly doubt that. If I had to guess, it's either somebody that was from Luke's past and they got killed at some point or they died, or it's his father. That's my personal thing. Anyway, let's move on to the most plausible theory I've ever seen. Alright, so for the final theory, and I don't even know if you could really consider this a theory, to be perfectly honest, because it's kind of obvious, and it's that Han is force sensitive. Now, this being said, a lot of people have debated on this for a very long time, but if you know anything about smugglers, particularly Atten and Han, they always say something like, I got a bad feeling about this, which a lot of people have in, have picked up on and said and thought that that meant they were force sensitive and it's entirely plausible. They have this sixth sense that something's going to go wrong, which sounds like the force. And the fact that Han in The Force Awakens believes in the force, he says the force is real. He says he tried to deny it, but he has seen it. The Force is real. Kind of makes you wonder if he's felt the Force at some point. And it's not entirely possible that this is a theory, but possible that this is an actual thing. But unless somebody says differently, we don't know. So I believe that I, I believe that this is the best theory because. I mean, there's so much evidence behind it. The I got a bad feeling about this. Think of how many times Han has gone through something that's almost impossible. If a normal human who wasn't force sensitive 
tried to do it, it'd be they they'd be dead. They'd be gone. There's my top five favorite fan theories. I cannot actually take credit for any of these fan theories. I looked up a lot of websites, in particular Screen Rant. Thank you guys, you gave me a lot of uh, at least three of these fan theories, including for uh, Hein using Force. I got they, I used their website. I did not copy verbatim what they said on the website. I said what I wanted to say. Anyway, may the fourth be with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to do more top five, top tens. And maybe in the future I can do a few readings, maybe, or or we can discuss the lore. Anyway, let me guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And like I said earlier, if you guys want me to go into more of how Anakin and was actually the chosen one, then let me know. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you have been enjoying it, please hit that like button. It does help out a lot. And tell a friend today about my Star Wars channel. It's pretty awesome. And may the Force be with you. Always.